All right. What is a kids' ride amusement park type train? Uh, these are smaller than a life-size train, but bigger than a little toy train uh, the kids play with. And it is uh, generally a main attraction to a shopping mall or uh, an amusement park. Um, and has been uh, an attraction to a lot of movies children's movies so when little kids see a train they just go wild and no one likes a screaming baby so it's really hard to tell your kid no you can't ride on the train uh, they'll usually have to buy a ticket <laughs> and it just makes the kids a day now there are some situations where kids are frightened of them and I personally will not ride a child that is just refusing two or three times to even get in the train because the people that have brought the child there are trying to make them get on the train because they think it's cute and for some reason the kid just really doesn't want to get on and I will not force a child to get on. I get cussed, uh, you name it, from the adults. Um, the worst customer is the adults, not the kids. Um, it, it's really sad. Uh, you would think that the kids would be a problem, but no. It is the adults that is going to be your first problem. Um, and how everybody thinks stuff is free, and how they get to ride free, or the kids get to ride free. For some reason, they don't seem to understand that, you know, you have... A business to run you have really high insurance to run any chauffeur type business and when you are driving a train you are transporting individuals human beings and you are responsible for their safety and uh, it requires a huge amount of insurance to uh, operate and, of course, you've got to pay your drivers, you've got to pay mall rent. Um, if you own the amusement park, okay, so you don't have to pay rent, but you still have to pay people to operate the ride. Um, and so, it's, it, it's, it's a tough job. It's not easy. That's a great money maker. Uh, if you run a ride. Uh, as well as any other business, but it's a little, it gets a little tidy. So, anyway, um, to this, I want to teach you about opening a train, purchasing trains, operating a train business, uh, so that you can decide if it's for you. I want to teach you about driving them, how to deal with customers, problems, mechanical problems, children problems, lots of things. Um, and some things just can't be avoided. They kind of are like Murphy's Law. They happen. So um, these trains are generally uh, in between a life-size train and a little kid's train. And if they're built well, they're quite heavy. They don't usually have... Uh, typical brakes like a car they have an emergency brake that holds the train in place if you're on a hill or if the train is parked um, the train is similar to a golf cart um, but yet similar to uh, like a warehouse skip loader they don't have reverse even though you'll have reverse in all the locos the problem is, if you've ever rented a U-Haul and towed it, you start to get an idea of what it's like to have a trailer behind your vehicle. Now imagine four or five or six of those trailers behind your vehicle. Now you're going to get the idea, okay? Um, it's, it's really a different process. It's 
something like being a limo driver but the only thing is that all the cars behind you pivot and they have to that means all your electricals got to be able to pivot with the ride um, depending on the ground you're operating on uh, most of the kids trains are operated on concrete asphalt or brick and it, it's it's a very rough ride especially if the road that you're moving on is not well maintained by the malls and whatsoever um, it can be rough uh, of course you can get better seats for the for the, the engineer the driver of the train with shock absorbers on it all that stuff like bus seats and that they get really expensive because drivers abuse stuff and you have to replace them recover them and they're always in and out of the train anyway and if your drivers wear jeans it's gonna wear that seat out because jeans are like sandpaper they just wear stuff out um, the different malls if you operate indoors your floor could be concrete it could be wood like a big roller rink the wood floors are quite nice um, right there a little bit slippery and uh, indoor malls can be good they can be bad indoor malls have controlled air which it gets cooler if you're in an outdoor mall like a hot location like Miami it can get real really really hot <coughs> and if you don't have 